Who's on board for these investigative stories set in the land down under 20 years after NCIS premiered on CBS? Not only is the flagship series about to enter its 21st season, the franchise as a whole is still going strong. Sure, NCIS. Los Angeles concluded earlier this year after 14 seasons and NCIS. New Orleans wrapped up in 2021 after seven seasons, but in addition to NCIS. Hawaii returning for season three NCIS. Sydney has now joined this procedural family. This is the first NCIS show to be set outside of the United States, and while it will premiere stateside on CBS, it will chiefly be available for Paramount Plus subscribers to stream around the world. Created by Morgan O'Neill, who executive produces alongside Sarah Richardson and Sue Seary NCIS. Sydney follows agents from the United States Naval Criminal Investigative Service teaming up with officers in the Australian Federal Police, AFP, to solve crimes in, you guessed it, Sydney, Australia. Ironically, in real life, the agency's Australian field office is actually located in Perth for the NCIS website, which is at the other end of the country. But I digress. Ahead of the show's premiere, let's go over who's comprising our main cast of characters. Created by Morgan O'Neill, who executive produces alongside Sarah Richardson and Sue Seary NCIS. Sydney follows agents from the United States Naval Criminal Investigative Service teaming up with officers in the Australian Federal Police, AFP, to solve crimes in, who guessed it, Sydney, Australia. Ironically, in real life, the agency's Australian field office is actually located in Perth, per the NCIS website, which is at the other end of the country, but I digress. Ahead of the show's premiere, let's go over who's comprising our main cast of characters. If you live in Australia, you're likely familiar with Todd Lassens from shows like Home and Away, Rescue, Special Ops, Crownies, and Bite Club. As for American audiences, he's best known for playing Julius Caesar in Spartacus, War of the Damned, his two-stint episode on The Flash as Edward Claris Aka, The Rival, and starring opposite Michael B. Jordan in Without Remorse. In NCIS, Sydney, he's playing Sergeant Jim J.D. Dempsey, Michelle Mackey's 2IC AFP counterpart, so expect to see these two in a lot of scenes together. When Michelle Mackey moves to Sydney, Australia, she'll be accompanied by fellow NCIS agent Deshaun Jackson, played by Sean Sager. His major credits include playing Marco in Fate, The Winx Saga, Mal in The Gentleman, Robbie in Buffering, and Charlie Jizzy Crow in The Covenant. Presumably Jackson doesn't have as much experience compared to Mackey, but he'll undoubtedly be a valued asset in the field. Most American viewers likely aren't familiar with Tully Narkel, but NCIS. Sydney will change that. She's taking part in the spin-off as Constable Evie Cooper, the AFP liaison officer, which reminds of how NCIS. Los Angeles Marty Deeks spent a long time on that show as the LAPD's liaison officer. Speaking of which, Eric Christian Olsen is game to appear on Sydney. If you watch Australian TV, then you might have seen her in All My Friends Are Racist, Mystery Road, Origin, or Bad Behavior. Now that we've covered the characters who will be chasing down bad guys directly, let's go over the characters who will assist them from behind closed doors. First, there's Mavorny Hazel's Bluebird Blue Gleason, the AFP forensic scientist. In order words, just like Katie Hines on NCIS, and before her, Abby Sciuto until Polly Perrette left the series after 15 seasons, Lou will be the one analyzing evidence that the field agents bring in and presumably also lend computer expertise, along with playing Piper Willis from 2015 to 2019 on the Australian soap opera Neighbours. Hazel appeared in two episodes of Shandaram, which can be streamed with an Apple TV Plus subscription. Finally, we have William McKins, who was cast to play AFP forensic pathologist Roy Penrose, meaning he's the one conducting the autopsies on bodies brought back to base just like the late David McCallum's Ducky Mallard did on NCIS for many years and Brian Ditson's Jimmy Palmer is doing nowadays. Sins has been acting in Australian productions for over three decades with some of the movies and TV shows on his resume including The Heartbreak Kid, Dirty Deeds, Sea Change, Blue Healers, The Slap, the original show, not to be confused with the American adaptation that aired on NBC, Total Control and The Newsreader, NCIS, 
Sydney premieres Tuesday, November 14 at 10 p.m. ET on CBS, and while Paramount Plus with Shechobu Time subscribers will also be able to watch live, people who have Paramount Plus Essential will have to wait until the day after to stream the episode. Peruse our 2023 TV schedule to learn what other shows are coming out before the year is over, and keep your eyes peeled on Cinemablend for news on when NCIS and NCIS Hawaii will resume airing.